going on in the true world i'm back with another video and as you guys know today is real talk wednesdays so last week i talked about bullying and this week i'm going to be talking about depression because i feel like well i don't feel like i know that a lot of people nowadays are dealing with depression whether they know it or not but i feel like this is a really good topic for me to talk about this week because a lot of people going through depression I know some people just want to hear that it's going to be okay or want to hear tips and things to where they can get help so that they can figure out you know what's going on within them so depression depression is a mental health disorder characterized by persistently depressed mood or loss of interest in activities causing significant impairment in daily life. So that is the definition for depression. I wrote down, I researched and I wrote down a lot of um, facts and things to where um, you can really know whether or not you or someone else is going through depression. So here are some symptoms. Um, Symptoms of depression, anxiety, agitation, mood swings, sadness, excessive hunger, lack of concentration, weight loss or weight gain, excessive sleepiness. So, I also decided to write down a couple facts or like research things that um, multiple articles or like medical articles you know wrote about depression so it's um, it says more than three cases there are more than three million cases of depression each year that is a lot I know like mental health is like a major thing especially in the black community but like, that is extremely a lot. Three million cases per year. I wonder is that reported cases or is that like combined with reported cases and cases that haven't been reported? So is that women are twice as likely to suffer from depression as men. Now, I feel like that's kind of true, but at the same time it's like I don't know because men, as you know, men go through depression as well too, but men are more, are, men hide theirs better to me in, in a sense because, you know, men hide theirs better to me than women. And as you know, depression can eventually um, turn into suicide, so you have to keep like a big, big eye out for you know family members and loved ones like knowing basically knowing the signs of depression so that you can get them help or you can get yourself help it's a continuous exposure to violence neglect abuse and poverty poverty may make people who are already susceptible to depression all more vulnerable to the illness and I feel like that is so true because normally these type of things are what brings on that depression the depression stage because I know when I was going through my abuse relationship I went through depression myself because it's like it's 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 hard to explain it said depression affects all people regardless of age geographic location demographic and social position so you can be the lowest of the low and you going through depression but you can always be the highest of the high and you're going through depression but i feel like um people that are in the public i go through it worse because i'm not saying that people that's not don't but i feel like people that that are in the public i go through it worse because they have all of this on their back they have the bad comments they have, you know, family members. Um, they have the people that they're dealing with business-wise. They have all this stuff that combines with the the way that they feel about themselves. 
and it just maximizes their depression. I know you guys, I don't know if you guys seen it, but um, last week's episode um, of Black Ink Chicago 4 came out and, you know, basically stated that he was going to, going through depression. It was the to the point where he wanted to do himself. He even made a song, I think it's called Help, where he's wearing a noose around his neck and everything. And you have to pay attention to that type of stuff because most times people are crying out for help, but we're not paying attention enough to notice that they're asking for our help because they don't know how to give help for themselves. So that's why I said we have to... Pay attention to this type of things. Like, I know someone that's going through depression right now. And I've even told this person that I feel like if I had the authority to get them committed to um, a mental health place so that they can be evaluated, they can get the that, that help they need, then I would. But I, I don't have the authority to because, you know, you know how when you get if somebody uh, admit it, it's like they have to either want to go or it has to be like a spouse. If they're married, it has to be a spouse. But if they're not married, it has to be a parent or a child to get them committed. So it's kind of hard. Like, I really... And you know who you are, so I know this video is going to be kind of touchy for you. But I just wanted, I know this is a big reason why I made this video. Because I want you to be able to get the help that you need. Because I love you. And I don't want anything to happen to you at all. So, I know you don't want to... check yourself in or get the help that you need but I feel like you need to just for your 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 sake of your mental health and your physical health and everything else just just think about it and just know I love you and I'm here for you always and here are some treatments treatments for depression would be like therapy medication they have medical procedures but i don't feel like i would want to do that type of thing but you know some people ha might do and i also wrote down some is it okay this is the personal message i wrote down is that you are not alone if you know or feel that you are depressed get help you know someone going through depression get them help or encourage them to get help. Get them their support emotionally, physically, and mentally. Learn the signs of depression so that it's easy to pick up on. Be that voice for them and others. No one has to go through this alone. We are here for you always. That is just my little personal message that I wanted to write down. Um, to anybody that's going through depression or anybody that knows someone going through depression. And I also have a couple numbers. Well, I have one number, and it's the, from the National Suicide Prevention uh, Lifeline. And it's 1-800-800-273-8255. And you can also text CONNECT, that's C-O-N-N-E-C-T, to 471-471. And I'll also put it at the end of at the end of the video. I love you guys and I will see you next week for another Real Talk video. Don't forget to like, comment, and please don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that you can get notifications every time I upload a video. I love you guys and I will see you guys later. Mm -hmm.